2022 was a wild year in what comes to transfers. Some were successful, some not so much. But today, we'll rank the biggest failed transfers of 2022. Before we get started, I just want to mention that if I wanted to make a video about Chelsea's failed transfers this year, it would be entirely possible. However, to keep this list more diverse, I'm just going to mention two failed targets from Chelsea. And we're starting this list off with one of them. Number 10. Josko Gvardio. The Blues were in talks with the RB Leipzig over a fee in the region of £75 million for Gvardio, in a move that would have seen the centre-back loan back to Leipzig for the rest of the season before arriving at Sanford Bridge in 2023. However, the idea ultimately arrived too late for Leipzig to sanction their star defender's departure. He then signed a year extension on his contract that would keep him in Leipzig until 2027. Despite all of that, after his impressive performance at the World Cup, I doubt that he'll stay for much longer with the Bundesliga side. Number 9. Milan Skriniar to PSG just like Chelsea, PSG also had the summer transfer window to forget, with many failed targets. Skriniar is perhaps the biggest of them. The Slovak was a key target on the market for the Parisians to strengthen their defense, even as a starter, as Galgier usually plays with three centre-backs and two full-backs. However, Inter did not accept PSG's latest offer of 65 million, despite the player having only one year left on his contract. Given that the Slovakian has yet to give his response to Inter's contract accession offer, the Parisians could feel that there is still a very real chance of signing him. As a consequence, there is little interest from the Parisians in trying to sign the former Sampdori defender for a fee during this January transfer window. Number 8. Douglas Luiz to Arsenal Mikel Arteta had been seeking extra depth with Tomas Partey and Mohamed El Nani sidelined through injury, and Douglas Luiz was a perfect fit. He was even keen on the switch, but Villa would not allow his departure even though he will be out of contract this June. The player made it clear to Villa that he wished to leave, obviously with an eye on regaining Brazil's place for the World Cup. Villa's subsequently signing of Leander the Donker also raised hopes at the Emirates. Arsenal were willing to pay £25 million for Douglas Luiz, but Villa stood their ground. Number 7. Harry Kane to Manchester City This is one transfer that had been in the making for a long time. Since Aguero departed the Etihad in 2021, Pep had been looking for a striker to replace him and Kane was the perfect fit. From the summer transfer season of 2021 until the January transfer season of 2022, the citizens made four different offers to Spurs, including one over £150 million. However, all of those offers were rejected and City eventually moved on, buying Hurley Haaland, while Harry Kane will continue at Tottenham for the foreseeable future. Number 6. Cody Gapko to United Gapko was one of the most important transfer targets for the newly arrived Eric Ten Hag. This summer, the Red Devils inquired about the forward, but BSV said they would not accept offers lower than 50 million euros. Eventually, United moved on and signed Anthony from Ajax in the last day of the transfer market. However, after Ronaldo's departure, United were looking to sign a replacement, but the Glazers, the owners of the club, said they would only allow the club to make loan offers, which eventually led Gakpo to United's biggest rivals. Number 5. Declan Rice Rice to Chelsea. One of the most important players for England and the star man for West Ham, Rice has been linked with a move to Chelsea for a long time. The Blues have inquired about the player but the reply has always been the same, Declan's not for sale. The Amers have valued Rice at £120 million and potentially up to £150 million, numbers that Chelsea couldn't meet last summer. So that leaves us with two options, he either leaves this summer for a fee close to £70 million or for free in 2024. We'll have to wait and see. Number 4. Bernardo Silva to Barcelona The Portugal international was heavily linked with a move to Camp Nou over the summer, but he never materialized and he remained at the Etihad Stadium. The Blaugrana were in conversation with the player throughout the summer, but a transfer offer only came in the last day. Despite his dream to play for Barca, Bernardo rejected the offer, but the former Benfica player remains one of Barcelona's top targets for this new year. Number 3. Frankie de Jong to Manchester United From one player that Barcelona wanted to sign, to one player Barca desperately wanted to get rid of. The La Liga side were keen on selling the Dutch midfielder as Barcelona were facing a dire financial situation. Man United was offering an 85 million euros package to the Spanish side. However, de Jong pushed to say as he was living his dream and also playing Champions League football. He was also receiving a hefty wage and didn't want to lower it by any means. But at the time of this video, Barcelona's president, Juan Laporta, said that de Jong is not for sale as he evolved into one of Barcelona's key players this season. We'll see what happens in the summer. Number 2. Cristiano Ronaldo to Napoli In one of many attempts to leave Man United in the summer, CR7 was offered to Napoli. Sadly for the Portuguese forward, his salary was an obstacle too big to surpass and the only option was a loan, with Man United paying all his wages and Victor Oziman going the opposite direction. Oziman didn't want to play Europa League football and United didn't accept the offer either, leaving Cristiano stranded at Old Trafford before eventually moving to Saudi Arabia. 
Number 1. Kylian Mbappe to Real Madrid This one is the biggest transfer saga of the past year. Mbappe seemed destined to follow his role model footsteps and play for Real Madrid, but against all odds, he chose to renew his PSG contract, who desperately wanted to keep him. PSG made him the highest paid in the club, receiving 630 million euros in the next few years, more than Messi and way more than Neymar, reportedly. He also has a lot of authority in the club, almost working as a non-official sports director in the club. It's absolutely mental, but there are rumors that he regrets his decision and will not sign his third year contract extension in 2024, which could result in the French international leaving for free in 2024 or for FTV this year's summer. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And that is it for the video. Leave in the comments your opinion on what big transfers we might actually see this year. If you like this video, please consider subscribe as I intend to produce more content like this and you definitely don't want to miss it. Thank you for reaching the end of the video and I'll see you on the next one.